what's going on guys it's omni arc and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where i'm going to be giving you my thoughts and opinions on the upcoming changes to the wheel of fortune and mightiest governor events well 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 boys it looks like they're listening oh you guys didn't think i drink water too yeah it's not always soda and energy drinks and or coffee sometimes it's water nah, i'm just kidding this is vodka no nah, it's water okay anyway if you've been living under a rock this mail came out yesterday and it's for all the governors that are in servers that have already gone through season three of kvk and it's basically saying hey once you're through with light versus darkness they're synchronizing all of the rewards across all of those kingdoms meaning every wheel of fortune and every mightiest governor after march 8th 2021 will be a pick one event and everybody can just choose what commander they want to win from those events which is an absolutely mind-blowing thing now i know a lot of you guys saw my video where i discuss if rise of kingdoms is dying or not and the tldr of that video is that the game is not dying it's still getting tons of new players every single day but there were a lot of criticisms that i have that i had of lilith and still do have many of them uh, of lilith and you know things that i think that the developers should change or consider changing and reasons why okay and one of those things that i talked about was that wheel of fortune events should be pick one events where you should be able to pick your reward for that wheel of fortune and i also gave credit to jagrothian for you know being the first one to kind of voice that opinion out into the open and here we are a few days later and boom it's here now again i, I and as i mentioned in that video i don't actually think that my video changed anything right it's just too fast i think that this is such a massive change that this has probably been in the works and on the minds of the developers for you know weeks now it's it's or probably months right because this this is an absolute bomb on the meta right because now all of these kingdoms are going to have access to any of the best commanders in the game because again there's always power creep all the best commanders usually come out after one another and power goes goes up over time so this is massive for the meta this is absolutely game changing so i don't think my video had anything to do with it but it's good to know that my thoughts and my feelings and and, and my you know my instincts uh, on what i think should be good for the game is also you know something that lilith is thinking about and implementing and things like that so that's good but i didn't talk about the mightiest governor change here that we see here that is interesting and we're gonna get into that in just a second but wheel of fortune right so now you can pick who you want on your wheel of fortune rewards so this is a good change i actually think that this change is self-evidently good right I, I actually can't think of a of something that's bad about this change right because if you are a whale in this game or a kraken and you're just an absolute savage and you spend you know a freaking thirty thousand dollars a month on this game like a lunatic well hey now you can spin every single wheel max spin it every single time and what you get from that wheel will be of value to you so good news there and so this is also good for new players right because now you can catch up to the, all the people that have been playing like me for over two years well now the new players can have access to not only Lee song yay for however long they need in order to expertise him but they also have access to guan yu and william and whoever else they want on the wheel which is amazing right that is amazing it's also good for free to play players right and i talked about this in in, in my previous video where i talked about if rock was dying and i said you know hey if if you could pick the commander that's on the wheel every single time well free to play players can usually afford to hit that 10 spin reward every single time so now boom here we go now you can get the 10 spin reward which i believe is five uh, commander sculptures every single time the wheel comes around and so now you're getting 10 more you uh, 10 more legendary commander sculptures every single month uh, as a free to play player and they're always going to be sculptures that you care about whereas sometimes it's not right and so that's really good for free to play players now right now and let me just say this right kind of in the beginning of the video don't spend anything unless you right now unless you're in king's land and it's an absolute dire emergency don't spend your universals don't spend your gems just stop everything because this is big right this is big we're not only are we getting this we're getting that skill lock feature soon as well so don't add skills to any commanders just pause the whole game board just stop for like a month and let's just that's what i'm doing right that's what i'm doing i'm waiting to see all this i have over eighty thousand gems saved up i have a, over a thousand universal legendary commander sculptures this is huge right and so my suggestion if you're a medium or a, or a low spender or a free-to-play player just stop everything until these updates come out and are ironed out because this is going to be crazy okay back to wheel of fortune 
fortune now free to play players can hit that 10 spot now they're getting more sculptures that they care about every single month that's a win for them it's a win for pay to win it's a win for pretty much all around right i don't see how this change to the wheel of fortune could be bad in any way so that is good i guess the only bad thing is that i'm gonna spend more money now so thanks love that's that's great that's exactly what i needed the mightiest governor change this is a little bit of a gray area in my opinion now on the surface and 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 just at first glance this sounds amazing right it sounds amazing and be, and the reason for that is because now the meta is available to everybody after light versus darkness which is super super good news right this means that once you finish light versus darkness now you can get zenobia now you can get nebuchadnezzar you can get whoever you want whatever you want this is good right it's good because now it's good for Ark of Osiris, right? Newer kingdoms versus older kingdoms. It's not a big deal. You can all play with the same commander. So that is really good for leveling the playing field. The bad part about this change is that now there's not a reason for whales to not compete, right? Sometimes if there's a commander that comes around that you know, a particular big spender doesn't care about, like let's say Leonidas or something like that. Or let's say, you know, somebody, uh, a player is really focused on archers, right? And all of a sudden now there's, you know, Chandra Gupta shows up, but like they, people don't care, right? They just, even though they're whales, they just don't need that commander. So maybe, you know, they place enough to summon them, or maybe they place in the top 10 just for fun, but they don't go for that win, right? But now, well, now the reward is much sweeter because you can pick. So there's always going to be a reason to compete in Mightiest Governor every single time. So this, to me, sounds like Lilith just locked out a bunch of players from ever winning this event, right? Because, again, there's just no reason. There's no cap, right? Like, every big whale can compete whenever they feel like it and now there's also that additional day that they added to the end of the mightiest governor event where you know anything can go on that last day right and so you know even though if you think you're winning that mightiest governor well now at the very end a mega whale can just boost their you know profile and just explode and, and now they win that's a even more expensive way to do it but regardless you get what i'm saying right you, now every single mightiest governor will be won by a whale right just every single one. What I want to know is to what extent this change will be self-governing, meaning people already spend insane amounts of money on Mightiest Governors. And if they now have to compete for every Mightiest Governor, meaning there's never going to be one that is more likely to be one, right? Because they're all worth it now. To what extent will this limit itself? And by that, I mean you're going to quickly realize who the big spenders are and are you going to just keep fighting wallets every two weeks? Like, I don't, I just, I, I'm scared to know how much people are going to spend on Mightiest Governors now, right? Like, because people are just going to go absolutely nuts every single time. And I feel like eventually people are going to get burnt out, right? Even as, even as whales, they're going to get burnt out. They're going to be like, look, we are spending way too much every two weeks. This is insane. We need to tone it back and figure out a better way to di distribute these rewards so that we're not spending $20,000 every two weeks on a mobile game, right? But even still, I think that, I, again, I think that this change, it's good for the meta and, and it's good for newer kingdoms and all that, but I think it's it's bad because they're, they're now you're not, there's not that dream of like saving up for a year and then winning a Mightiest Governor, I just feel like that's gone now, right? Because the, as long as there's one whale in your kingdom, they could really go every time. So anyway, I think, you know, that's a concern that I have about this change. Uh, I do think that there will be some amount of self-governing because I, people don't want to waste money every two weeks. Like, you know, they're going to fight for it to an extent and then eventually they're going to be like, okay, well, let's just actually figure this out. Um, but also I think for the, the, the kingdoms that are the most organized, I think this is actually really good, right? Because, you know, if your kingdom's really organized, and you you reward participation with mightiest governor wins then boom here you go now that win is way more sweet now people have a much bigger incentive to participate in kbks or you know show up to to do the arc of osiris whatever it is whatever your kingdom bases its you know merits on you know that's that's great for you guys and and i don't think this actually changes the, anything there right like if you're a really organized kingdom I think that this change is only good. I, I don't see an, an instance where this is bad for a very organized kingdom who knows 
what players need what commanders and how many mightiest governor wins they need now in order to reach those commanders goals and things like that um you know there's always going to be the one you know guy who goes rogue and it just decides oh i'm going to win this mightiest governor regardless and then you zero that guy and problem solved so again i think the wheel of fortune change obviously good for everybody the mightiest governor change is a gray area and we're just gonna have to see how this plays out right like are people just really gonna go crazy every two weeks I don't know that sounds exhausting to me that sounds kind of silly um and we're gonna have to see how it works in in organized kingdoms i think organized kingdoms are gonna do way better now with with this system because hey now you know your best players can win every week and they can get a new commander every week if they want to right and they can expertise more commanders faster and, and that's good so that's my thoughts and opinions on these two things here remember guys save your gems save your universals wait for that skill lock feature wait for all this stuff just i know it's hard but like these are just such big changes that you it would be kind of silly uh to spend anything right now in my opinion unless it's an absolute king's land emergency um and then the next point here is the legendary tavern now i believe this was actually leaked on roni's channel forgive me if somebody else leaked it before him um but i saw this on legend roni's uh channel the legendary tavern event seems to be a kvk related event and this is good if you can get mightiest governor commanders from the legendary tavern because now okay you may be locked out of getting the mightiest governor wins because the whales are going to get them all but you know if this new legendary tavern has an all is is an alternative way to get those same commanders for everybody but maybe at a lower sculpture amount right well then hey that's good now we gotta wait and see how this event actually comes out again it was it was leaked i think but who knows if those leaks are if that's actually what it's gonna be like or if it's gonna be tweaked a bit or whatever the case might be overall this is a mega change and i wasn't expecting this so soon but um hey we're gonna have to see how this goes because this is gonna change the game like this is this is actually game changing i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this change in the comments section below please guys let me know what you think do you agree with what i said do you disagree with what i said I, i've been thinking about it all, at work all day i would have made this video sooner but i am interested to see the future of rise of kingdoms that looks like this and also now i'm like oh my god what do i spin on the next wheel next month like now i'm like do i go for Harold, like do i go for william like i can go for whoever i want now like do i go for yss like oh my god there's so many good commanders that i immediately have like access to like this is actually crazy maybe i wouldn't have spent all my gems on guan anyway guys if you enjoyed this video and you made it all the way to the end make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton and while you're here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video i know like 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so make sure you go ahead and click that sub button it really does help out the channel a ton as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram discord twitter all that good stuff it's always in the description as well as a link to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stacks and it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms i think the game and the graphics look absolutely gorgeous so playing it on a bigger screen is just a huge quality of life enhancement and like i said it's free so you might as well click that link and give it a try with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni we'll talk to you guys again soon peace